Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Los Alamitos Unified School District um, board meeting. And uh, we are so excited to have McGaw in the house today. So we will um, start with a call to order at 430. And then Mrs. Dingelo. Mr. Fayette. Here. Ms. Catulli. Here. Mrs. Hill. Here. Mr. Forehand. Here. Mrs. Davidson. Here. Let, could I see you guys smile? <laughs> Yay, smiles. They're beautiful. Awesome. And now I will look for a motion to adopt the agenda. No Second. Uh, we do not have to roll call, right? I can just call for a vote. I call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes 5-0. Wonderful. And now we are going to move in to the most exciting reason we're here. And that would be for um, our workshops, our school recognitions, reports and recognitions. And so I will move it on to Mrs. Reed. Thank you so much, President Hill. It really is an honor tonight to have the home of the sea lions in the house, Ra Maga. Maga always has a special place in my heart. I spent my first year as an assistant principal there about 10 years ago. What an amazing community. And so just want to give a big welcome to the staff and most importantly, the dynamic duo at the head of Maga Elementary. I'd love to welcome to the podium, Dr. Isaiah Gates and Miss Wendy Wood. <laughs> Deputy Superintendent Andre Reed, thank you. Madam President, um, school board members, my friend, Superintendent Dr. Andrew Pover, and distinguished cabinet members, my name is Isaiah Gates, and I am the humble, proud principal of Maga Elementary School. <laughs> yeah. And I am pleased to, pre pre to present the Maga School Report. But before I start, I would like to, oh my gosh, invite Grace Langston up to lead us in saying the pledge. Grace. Would you please stand at attention, eyes on the flag, place your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, Grace is my daughter. My sea lion. I would also like to invite Lucas Watley and Shannon Gartner, our student speakers, to the podium at this time. Dear Madam President, esteemed members of the board, Dr. Pulver, McGaugh family, and community members, I'm Shannon Gartner. And I am Lucas Wadley. We are fifth grade sea lions at McGaw Elementary School. I started McGaw in first grade and it's been such a great experience. I have been at McGaw since preschool and I have some of the best memories over the last six and more years. We wish, every th we wish everyone could experience everything we've been lucky enough to do. Wouldn't it be great if everyone could be a sea lion? <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> the academics at McGaw are rigorous and challenging. In science, we use Mystery Doug, where we conduct the coolest science experiments. We got to hold worms, learn about the biospheres and hemispheres, and complete many hands-on projects. One of my favorite memories was designing, building, testing, and racing boats. This year, our fifth grade teachers are focusing on growth mindset. We wrote, I can't, on a piece of paper, and buried them in a plant we are growing. The plants sit outside our classrooms as a reminder that we can each day we enter. School can be hard. Because Maga is so challenging, learning doesn't always come easily to everyone. We have the best teachers in our surf lab. They work in small groups to help sea lions grow as readers based on their learning styles. The music in our lab is loved by all sea lions. Maga has two amazing new art and music teachers this year. Miss Anya is teaching circle weaving and art, and Miss Bassage makes everything fun with musical games. She taught us Ti Ti Ta with quarter notes and eighth notes, as well as learning lots of new songs. And our teachers at Maga are the best. <laughs> they are caring, have a love for all their students, and take the extra time to challenge us. 
They are go with the flow and funny. They also <laughs> care about how we grow as people, and depending on the teacher, they have instilled a love for reading, math, science, or, or writing in their students. This year, as a fifth grader, I look forward to giving out a golden pencil to my favorite teacher at McGaw. McGaw is truly a special place to have fun. We had our annual McGaw Idol in January. Sea Lions were able to get creative on sh and show off their talents on stage. Wait, but don't forget the carnival. The dunk tank was back, as well as the cakewalk and the petting zoo. My favorite McGaw memory was dunking my friends in the dunk tank this year. It was really funny to see the look on his face. <laughs> Oh, and Family Fun Night. McGaw's PTA sponsored our Family Fun Night, where we visited the annual book fair, played math games with Mathnasium, ate taco surf, and had the opportunity to pet very unique animals like a chinchilla. Finally, I can't wait to share all the fifth grade activities with you. We just had outdoor science school in February, and it was a blast. We had night hikes, astronomy night, and participated in the ropes course. We even performed a CSI investigation my favorite class was learning outdoor skills where we cooked quesadillas, made tea, and built shelters and a fire. We, we wish, wish everyone, everyone could be a sea lion just, just like us. us. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> they're, pre they're pretty amazing. We have more amazing fifth graders. Please welcome Ms. Rebecca Bassage and Magaz. Magaw Elementary's choir. Wasn't that, fin wasn't that fantastic? Maga, what a great school. What a great community. It, it, it really is. Um, one staff member described Maga to me saying this, I feel more at home at Maga, more accepted, safer than any other place in the world. And that's Maga. The idea of community, support, and love are the first things that you learn at Maga. The heart is really where it starts at Maga. As the friendly neighborhood principal, Maga value, values the neighborhoods that make up our learning community. Shout outs to families on the hill, the base, the cove, Old Town, and my personal favorite, College Park East. <laughs> Different neighborhoods, one small community, one large heart. 
Magal ties us all together. We stay connected, engaged through weekly newsletters, Magal Connect and Parent Square. Through these electronic communications, the community is well informed about what's happening on campus every day. There's a reason to celebrate students at Magal. Every day? Yes, every day. Every day, we start our morning announcements with an A for a day. A for a day is an award, award given to students just for being the best of who they are. We celebrate, we celebrate birthdays with the gesture program, and we also celebrate students' hard work and academic effort through the Sea Lion Awards. Academics are just a but just a portion of the sea lion educational experience at Magar. And while the magic of Magar starts with a teacher's heart, the magic of Magar lives through Magar's traditions. Traditions like the ice cream social. As a way of inviting our community back to campus at the beginning of the year, our fantastic teachers, right over here, uh-huh. volunteer in shifts to scoop and dress over 400 bowls of ice cream. This year, our teachers scooped and our sea lions gobbled down over a hundred gallons of ice cream. <laughs> Raw maga. <laughs> Faculty Friday um, is a tradition where we honor certificated and classified staff for members for just being awesome. And let's face it, we have the best certificated staff, classified staff on the planet. We have Ms. Carrie Pallone here, who is a HSA award winner. <laughs> and we know how fantastic Ms. Patty Lee is. And then there's Principal for a Day. That's Wes over there on the side. Now, principal for a day is an opportunity for sea lions to be principal for the day. And while fun, I always leave thinking, well, if a kindergartner can do my job, <laughs> we must have some pretty talented sea lion kindergartners. Ramaga? Ramaga. <laughs> but traditions have to start somewhere. This year, fifth grade teacher, Ms. Mindy Espinosa, started math night. Here at Magal Math Night was an exciting evening for sea lion families to play math games and enjoy the evening together. Raw Magal? Oh. There we go. The 100th day of school is, is a blast for kindergarten sea lions. I'm sure we all remember being in kindergarten. 100 was like the biggest number ever. <laughs> in celebration of, a, of the 100th day of school, our sea lions love to dress up as if they're 100 years old and our teachers do too. Frankly, I think our kindergarten teacher team loves to play dress up a little bit more than our students do. Look at them, they're having so much fun. My favorite of all traditions is the tradition that I believe matters most. Teachers bring their kids to work with them. We believe in Maga. Here is Miss Alvarado with her two little sea lions, Frankie and Austin, and they're such a joy to be around. Growing up, my grandmother would remind me <clears throat> that life is the most challenging of all teachers. She would say, life will give you the test first and the lesson later. The lesson we all learned through the pandemic is the importance of students being mentally healthy and well-balanced. Because of the thoughtful insight of our board and the healing-centered relationship of our superintendent, Maga has a dynamic wellness counseling team. Ms. Priscilla Hara, Ms. Tina Heron, and not featured here is Ms. Ms. Zanette um, Cohen. In partnership with the U.S. Department of Defense, Ms. Zanette Cohen is the counselor dedicated to supporting our military students and families. Using the Second Step program, Priscilla, Tina, and Zanette are working hard to help our students strengthen the social skills that atrophied over the pandemic and support students in rebuilding their social emotional resiliency. We love and need our wellness counselors, but we know how meaningful teacher-student relationships are. Pictured here is Ms. Taylor Martin with one of her students. Ms. Martin is all about the relationship. Rob <laughs> Magal. 
Maga has a strong standing relationship with the arts. Ms. Anya Capone is, Ms. is Maga's new art teacher, and Ms. Rebecca Bassage, who you just met, has, has strengthened the love of art and music in our sea lions with drawing and painting and a love of music. It's believed that we currently have the largest elementary choir in Maga's history, and that's because of the passion of our teachers. Possibly the longest running tradition in Los Alamitos is Maga, the pageant of the art. Affectionately termed pageant, it is a true work of art. It is directed by the incomparable Mrs. Leslie Obert, who is right back here. and supported by teachers and staff, current and retired, <laughs> and current and past pageant performers. Our staff and students have been working all year, and I can hardly wait for the performance. If you want to see an outstanding performance, if you want to see the outstanding performance of the 39th Annual Pageant of the Arts, tickets go on sale to the public Friday, <laughs> March 28th. Is that right, Leslie? Yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> so um, arts are important. Um, but learning at Maga is serious business. We use Los Al's signature practices as our, North, as our North Star. CGI, where students are presented with a math problem. They unpack the problem, highlighting the key details. They solve the math problem in different ways, and then they explain how they achieve the answer and reading workshop. Our teachers present many lessons, fiction, nonfiction, poetry, providing students with the evidence-based strategies that support students with shared reading, guided reading, and, inter and interactive read-alouds. This is more of our, our CGI problem here. And while the scientific pro process is not a signature practice, it's always fun to see our sea lions forming hypothesis and learning through exploration. Here in this picture, you can see students engaged in what educators call visible learning. It's almost as if you can see them thinking. You can see the thinking happening. John Hattie would be proud. That's an educator joke, just FYI. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Learning through exploration at Maga is, is valued by the entire learning community. PTA donated nearly $40,000 for level library readings, and Project Sheet do raised and donated over $120,000 to support Maga Sea Lions Innovation Lab um, art teacher. Because of parents and volunteer fundraiser, we can have these incredible programs. But here in the picture here, you see PTA. PTA supported our family fun night where our students participated with Mathnasium and a petting zoo. Big shout out to PTA president, Ms. Denise Rabat, who's right here somewhere. Her leadership has been so instrumental to Maga's success this year. Oh, Project Seek. Project Seek is holding its, its fundraising gala this year, gala the event. The event um, this year is a 1920 speakeasy vibe, adult only event and dinner. These are shameless plugs, I have to tell you, I know, right? <laughs> um, of dancing and lots of fantastic silent and live auction items to bid on. Every penny raised will fund the art, innovation, and sea lion labs at Maga. We cannot have these classes without your support. A big shout out to Project Seek's president, Mrs. Claudia Vecchio-Will. You know, but PTA and Project Seek um, also supports teaching and learning, and not only for students, but for teachers as well. Professional development and teachers learning from teachers by way of watching and doing instructional rounds is supported by Project Seek and our PTA. It's a great way for teachers to learn from each other. The heart of MAGA is exhibited through our inclusive approach um, 
approach, um, excuse me, the heart of Magog is exhibited through the inclusive approach Magog takes towards sea lions with special education needs. Our community classes, a well, our community classes, a well-designed combination of special day classes and general ed classes are a renowned program, program here in Southern California. Many districts are modeling their programs after the Magog community classes, and, Mag and Magog's community classes are seen by many as the gold standard in special education. And while we have excellent teachers, um, we also have amazing instructional aides. Please let's give a round of applause for our amazing instructional aides. We can't do that, we can't do this work without them. Is, uh oh, I did that. It's only fitting that I bring the board report to an end with a report on facilities. There's been quite a few updates um, that support our campus with security and beautification. But I want to thank Dr. Pover and the board for resurfacing the Magog Gym. The, Mag the Magog Fields and Gym are to the city of Seal Beach what a kitchen is to a family during the holidays. It's where everyone gathers to catch up, tell stories, communicate, and care for each other in, the further, in furthering the notion of community. Raw Magog. <laughs> that concludes my board report. Dr. Gates, thank you very much for um, your presentation, and you can just tell the joy and the care that you and your staff take for all of our students at McGaw. Um, I drive by there typically once a day, usually in the morning, uh, on my way to the gym, and uh, I just delight in seeing all of the students and so many of our students walking to school and their traditions, and it's just amazing. Um, and I even, and I don't know who it was, but um, I had an early class last a week, and I drove by about 6.20, and there were already two teachers' cars in the parking lot, and I, I just thought that is incredible dedication. So uh, thank you to you and your staff and your wonderful parents uh, for an amazing, amazing school. And I do want to say thank you to Seal Beach as well, who helped uh, with your gym floor, because as you said, the community uses it a great deal. So thank you very much, Dr. Gates. Anybody else? Mr. Yeah, Forehand. Yes, I know where I'm going for ice cream next uh, <laughs> August. And I'm also going to relive my life and be principal for the day, but I'm going to have to get a bow tie. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a bow tie. And raw. Maga. Maga. Anybody else? Oh, uh, Mrs. Gatuli, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Maga is my home school. My kids went there. My grandkids went there, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I may have another grandkid going there. Um, so it's, it's my home school, and I just enjoyed so much hearing about what you were doing down there. And the one thing that I've always felt was very special about McGaw is the entire sense of community. And it's not just the school people. It's not just the staff, it's not just the students, and it's not just the parents. It's our entire community. McGaw's the only school in Seal Beach, and we're kind of, a, and I know that we have kids that go to Hopkinson from College Park East, and College Park East is part of Seal Beach, but we just always feel when we're at McGaw that that's like the heart of the city, and we have such a great partnership with the city. It's like the new gym floor. This, we're splitting the cost with the city because they use it a lot too. We have it in agreements with them. Um, the police department department is so involved. They always want to know what they can do to make sure that everybody on that campus is just safe. And I even think of the Lions. The Seal Beach Lions, I think it's the largest Lions club 
maybe in the universe, but it's like one of the really big ones. And they're usually there for your carnivals. They come and read to you um, on Dr. Seuss's birthday. It's because it is truly a community school. And I think you guys are all so lucky to be going there. And I appreciate the participation that all of you scholars give back to McGaugh with the traditions and enhancing every day by you being there and learning new things. And thank you, Dr. Gates. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Fayette. Ah, thank you. Uh, although my kids did not go to McGaw, that was when they were doing the Seal Beach Bridge construction, and it was just a bridge too far. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've gotten to go down to McGaw and visit. It is an incredible place. I love it. I got to read on uh, Dr. Seuss's Read Across America in Mrs. Lyon's kindergarten class, and I can't wait to go back again. The energy, I was there for Veterans Day, and it is just such a special community place. Uh, I've played on the old gym floor, volleyball. There's some of my blood on some of those <laughs> things. Uh, but no, just a special place, a special community, and I can't wait to see the pageant of the masters down there, the pageant of the arts. Uh, after a, a one-year hiatus, I really missed it, so I can't wait for it to be back. Thank you for everyone that's down there, the community, the staff, for all you do to make that such a special, wonderful place. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Davidson? Well, I echo all of their comments, and there's, there's two things that I want to say. But beyond the fact that every time I go on your campus, there's such joy, and the teachers are incredibly dedicated, the aides, everybody to learning, but also to engaging and making every child feel connected. But the t I really want to say thank you for the, the um, special way you honor our military, that I, that the special ceremony that I went to. I mean, it felt like there were at least a thousand people there, and the sense of pride and love of country that you felt there is such a, a wonderful gift to our kids. So I really appreciate that, and also the reinstatement, the bringing back pageant of the arts. Through all of the pandemic, we lost things, and I'm, it's just such a, a wonderful program. So thank you for bringing it back, and I look forward to it. Thank you. Big. That's a big thanks to Miss Leslie Obert. Mr. Dr. Pulver. Well, thank you, uh, Madam President. Uh, Dr. Gates, Mrs. Wood, thank you for your incredible leadership uh, for this amazing community of uh, McGaw Sea Lions. It is just exceptional. McGaw is always a, a place that, as I, many of them have mentioned, just a, a level of love and acceptance uh, for students that kids really do come first and they're at the heart of every matter. So I love how you kind of opened up with that. And then just really the celebration of one of the things we say, the hallmark of this district are the people and just highlighting the amazing people in this district, that whether it be our classified employees, our, our teachers, our custodians, our parents, and obviously our, our, our students. But to hear the partnerships that we can't do what we do without these incredible partnerships. And I think I had written down over $160,000 that you had referenced just in donations through staffing, through uh, LLI kits within the classroom, reading books, instructional around. Uh, it just is, we're so fortunate to have a community who rallies behind our youth. And I don't know of another community like Seal Beach who really does that. So thank you to, to all of our sea lions. And as we've been following the tradition, I, which is another thing about Maga, I love the rich traditions that you hold deep and you also make them special and new each year. So let's carry on this tradition. Ra! Maga! <laughs> And you sea lions down there, what an amazing job you did with your song. We really appreciate that. And it was just wonderful to watch you. So uh, we are going to move on. and uh, But we're just going to move back to Dr. Gates. Dr. Gates. Oh, thank you so much, Madam President. Magaz Hero of the Heart is, an authentic, is authentically a faculty bestowed honor. When I asked the Magad teachers to describe Ms. Claudia Vecchio Weil, our hero of the heart, using one word, words like supportive, real, honest, authentic, amazing, energetic, giver, and inspirational were just a few. When I think about Claudia, I think about how we were both raised in the South. South is a little different. 
In the South, we might use words that city folk may not understand. <laughs> words like britches and tote and yonder. Using these words in a sentence, one might say, tote these britches over to your brother over yonder. <laughs> we also use phrases in the South that we use quite sparingly, only for the distinguished. A phrase that come to mind is good people. You see, when someone bestows the title of good people on you, you're just that, simply put, good people. The notion of good people is supported by core values that good people hold dear. Values like loyalty, honor, service, family, community, and integrity. Unfortunately, these values are seemingly becoming less and less important to folks, but not with Claudia. She embodies these characteristics to their fully, fullest definition. Raised in Texas by a middle school English teacher along with extended family, Claudia graduated with a degree in advertising from Southern Methodist University and worked as a copyright in New York City for a few years. With a passion for teaching and wanting to make a difference, and you are every day, she received a grant through New York City Teaching Fellows Program to gain her master's in education from the City College of New York. With with this foundation, she built learning and collaboration with leaders in educational research, along with working with some New York's highest need students as a teacher. Claudia became a staff developer with a focus on reading and literacy. After New York, there was a short stint in Seattle, Seattle's public schools, and then she moved to Seal Beach. With, her, with, her young, with three young kids, Harper, 12, Silas, 10, and my friend Sloan over there, five. <laughs> Claudia embraces the motto, it takes a village, and is a firm believer that a great teacher in critical subjects have a huge impact, a lasting impact on students' lives. As president of Project Seek, Claudia is passionate towards making McGaw a strong and vital school for all students. Claudia is known in Magas community for her energy, positivity, passion, and kindness. In her free time, Claudia loves to read, travel, pick up her kids, pick up after her kids and husband. <laughs> if we were to count, she's probably donated more than 10,000 hours this year alone, and that's not counting her subbing at Maga. Yes, when, when we were having a subbing shortage, we asked Claudia to sub, and she said yes. Madam President, Superintendent, Magas community, please stand and help me to acknowledge the wonderful work of Ms. Claudia Vecchio Wow, who is Magas Hero of the Heart. family can come up. Harper, Patrick, <laughs> Silas, and Sloan. <laughs> come on up and I'll introduce you. Um, because I, I can't do anything without my husband picking up my slack <laughs> when I'm volunteering a thousand hours and everything else. And then my kids who've been super patient um, when I you know, have another meeting <laughs> or go and do something else. Um, they're extremely understanding, and um, I appreciate them more than they'll ever know, and I appreciate this more than you'll ever know. I, I couldn't believe it when Dr. Gates told, he and Ms. Woods brought me in and told me, and I was just like, wait, what? For what? Like, I don't even know what I did. And they're like, well, you know, and I'm like, yeah, but everybody does that. I don't, what did I? So then Dr. Gates said, you have to say something. And I was like, thank you. He's like, yeah, and more. And I'm like, what? <laughs> um, 
I can talk in front of kids, I can talk in front of teachers, but not like everyone. So, hi, thanks. Um, and um, <laughs> and um, I, I did dig a little deep, and I thought, okay, so why do I, why? Um, and the only thing I could think of was m my mom, who was a middle school English teacher. She was also a single mom, great, great upbringing, great childhood, but she was a single mom who was a teacher, and she always, what can I do? How can I help? What can I do? How can I help? Always for everybody and everything, and I feel like that's just in my subconscious. That's just what I do. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, education is really important to me, and the people that educate are our greatest asset in this world. Um, people that teach and educate and are part of educational communities, um, what would our world be like if we didn't have them? We wouldn't have readers, we wouldn't have creators, we wouldn't have um, developers, anybody doing any good for the world. Um, so I will always give my time and my energy, whatever I can, to those who are involved in education and those who are doing that really hard work of educating. Um, thank you. I don't know why I cried. <laughs> Really quick, one more thing. I just, um, this is just not even deserving. I mean, it is, whatever, but it's for everybody that gives. <laughs> it's for <laughs> everybody that gives. This, you know, like I'm just doing what everyone does. Like we all give, we all care. And this is for everyone, but, but thank you for giving it to me and recognizing <laughs> me, sorry. <laughs> So, um, Claudia, I, uh, this is a treat and a joy for me because I know Claudia. She's part of the community that I've been part of down in Seal Beach for a long time. And, um, I, and I, hope I, can, I can hope I can say this without choking up, but what you said about your mom, do you realize that that's exactly what you're doing with your children and that that is going to be what translates to them and to generations that come. And um, it's amazing and it really is. And um, we have amazing parents and a lot of people that give, but not everybody gives and not everybody gives with the, the heart that you are giving to that school. So thank you very much and it's very well deserved and um, we're very glad that you're our hero of the heart. Anybody else? Well, um, so now this is like really the exciting part. I, I think Chris. Oh, Chris. Chris. No, 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 please. <laughs> I just am fairly new to being here on the board, but certainly not new in the community. But you, Claudia, exemplify what parents do that go the extra mile to make us a wonderful school district. And we work hard, and you support us all the way. So thank you very much. Dr. Pulver. And it's always uh, amazing to me when, when people who, who give so much of themselves continue to kind of reflect and think that it's just normal, that everyone is like <laughs> that, that they're uh, not deserving of, of this uh, special and, and unique honor. But, but clearly, the community of Magaw, the, the staff, the administration, uh, and parents think that you are. 
Uh, so we do see you. You are spectacular. You give so freely. And probably uh, one of the things that I often say is the best gift we can give is the gift of ourselves. It's not money. It's the gift of ourselves and the gift of time. And you clearly demonstrate that time and time again for so many students. So thank you for the impact that you continue to make on all kids and the examples that you lead for your own as well. And thank you to your entire family because we do recognize that when you give, it does take away uh, from, from the home at times as well. So thank you. So um, now we are going to um, move into uh, the kids' favorite part of the meeting. And so, but kids, you really need to check with your parents first. There are cookies out in the lobby. Whoa! <laughs> But we also do want to make sure that we get photos. And so are we doing photos in the lobby, Nicole? We didn't like how we did that last time. We're going to go back to our model. So the okay. only thing between you and a cookie are a few pictures that we'd like to take. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start off. We'd like to take a picture of, of the show choir. Uh, we'd like to take a picture with Grace, Shannon, and Lucas. And then obviously with Claudia and her family. And then all of the uh, MAGA staff. So we'll kind of try to do it in that order. So since the most of the show choir kids are right here, we're going to come right up, take a Woo recess, and be ready for the photo. You might see it in our wrap-up this week.
Oh. YouTube? Countdown? We are now closing open session. Going We're going to do a countdown for YouTube in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. There are no public comment cards. Okay. So we do not have, uh, Mrs. President Hill, we do not have any public comment for closed session items. So at this point, we can adjourn for closed session. We will go ahead and adjourn into closed session. Thank you very much.